Attorneys, is your marketing in a crisis? Who, me? Yes, you. Now, I find it really interesting when people say they don't need to invest in marketing, but the problem with that is neglecting your marketing can only have a trickle effect in your reputation, sales, customer retention. So in 2024, we want to work smarter, not harder. So let's get into the five early signs that your marketing is in a crisis. All right, so if you're a returning reviewer, welcome back and thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess. I'm the founder of Prestige Marketing. And on this channel, we talk all about marketing and business tips. So with that being said, we're discussing the marketing red flags for attorneys and what you should do to fix it. So now one thing I want to say is you really have to be adaptive and there's simple things that you should be incorporating into your marketing for growth, such as SMS marketing, which is fairly new, very popular, very effective. You should also be looking at email marketing automation with direct scheduling for consultations. Now for the people who have this old school mentality of marketing and is this old school perspective of marketing and only using word of mouth, no marketing can lead to a lack of trust and credibility for any potential clients. So a strong online presence is gonna be really, really crucial for you guys, I'm, I'm telling you. So it's, it's really important for establishing credibility in the legal field. So even when I think about my personal life, the first thing I do, when I want to validate something is I go straight to Google and you know, I, I wanna look at the reviews and it's not just the good reviews, I look at the bad reviews. The, being, the thing about it is like some people just complain and they're just, you know, over the top. <laughs> but it, it's what is that bad review actually saying? So like I said, it's almost like a secondary verification for that particular business or whatever it is I'm looking up at the time. So if that doesn't check out, I likely won't even consider doing business with that particular company and I'm definitely not visiting the website. So let's dive into the five early signs your marketing is in a crisis. So first things first is if you're losing visibility in clients, Neglecting your marketing essentially means you're losing visibility amongst your competitors. So this will obviously result in fewer client inquiries and a decline in sales. So as the saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> so moving on to number two, if no one is talking about you, it only makes sense that your website traffic will also decline as well. So it's gonna be really important that you're tracking your marketing, your marketing sources. Now, if you look at your marketing sources for new client inquiries, are people finding you through your website? Is it through word of mouth or some other way? So a noticeable drop in traffic is more than likely due to poor SEO performance. So things like lacking engaging content or you may just need to revive your marketing strategies altogether. So number three, is low conversion rates. Now, if your website traffic, like if you're receiving website traffic, but the conversion rates are decreasing, it could be a signal that there's issues with your messaging or the user experience, or even just your credibility. Maybe people don't know you, so maybe, you know, if no one knows you, they're not gonna be very quick to trust who you are. Um, even going with, uh, even touching on user experience, if your website takes forever uh, to load, it's just super slow, like that's definitely going to be a huge disconnect. So moving on to number four, if you do have those negative online reviews or just re reputational issues, reputation management is crucial in the legal industry and negative feedback can deter potential clients. But truthfully, this is true for any any industry. So this is definitely something that you should be including in your marketing strategy. 
Now, while word of mouth may be the most common resource for new clients, prospective clients are definitely going to still look at those online reviews and social proofing to determine if they can really trust you. So like I said, trust but verify. So you know, you definitely need to make sure um, you're tackling that. Now, moving on to number five, if your social media engagement is stagnant or declining, it's likely because your content strategy is not resonating with your audience. So some of the things that you can do is you can look at potentially uh, changing your messaging. Maybe the content that you're delivering is not what they actually care about. So like I said, like if you're a personal injury attorney, you can do quizzes, you can do um, just informational content because a lot of people don't really know a lot of information, like just a common um, person or just your, your your target market, they may not know all the facts. So you can actually use engaging content like videos and things like that to really engage with your audience on social media. You also wanna make sure that's on your website as well. So like I said, these are the five telltale signs that your attorney marketing is definitely in a crisis. So if you found this video helpful, definitely give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.